Hello, uh, what we are going to do in this tutorial is connect our Asus Pi 3 to our Wi-Fi network on its boot. It means it will automatically connect to our Wi-Fi network by looking at pre-configured settings given by us. We have our Wi-Fi router turned on and ready. Then we uh, plug our Asus Pi uh, to the power source. Then it will connect to the Wi-Fi router automatically because of this you don't need to mess with the LAN cables anymore ok uh, let's connect to the Raspberry Pi first um, type Ubuntu and pass it as Ubuntu now let's scan the root privileges now we need to install the wireless tools first of all uh, we need to update Ok, let's ins uh, install the wireless tools. Next, uh, we need to install the WPS applicant. Let's uh, bring the uh, wireless network interface uh, online by typing this command. Okay, uh, let's scan for the uh, available uh, Wi Fi networks near to you. Okay, now open this file, network interfaces, and add auto VLAN 0 at the top of the file. I will put those link, uh, commands in the description and the references um, so you can refer them. <coughs> add these lines at the bottom. Now save the file. Let's open the supplicant file. Yeah, and uh, add these uh, commands to the this file. And uh, in here, type your uh, Wi-Fi SSID. It means the name, Wi-Fi name, network name, and the password. Below settings uh, can be changed and uh, they have to be changed according to your router and uh, I will show you a page and uh, at there it uh, describe the settings and uh, in here you can uh, see the details about these settings and please change them according to your router. Okay, uh, let's save these settings and uh, let's reboot. Uh, Raspberry Pi okay, uh, reboot okay uh, this will take some time uh, in mind to uh, about one minute to boot and uh, of course you have to find your Raspberry Pi IP by logging to your router and uh, okay now I connected the uh, Raspberry Pi and check whether it's working as you can see it is working right now So uh, what will happen here is uh, when the Raspberry connect to the router, uh, router G, uh, DHCP will assign IP to the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi IP address can be different time to time. To avoid this, we can set a static IP address to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, let's see how it's done. Okay, uh, you have to edit this file. You see network interfaces and Change the I face WLAN 0 INET uh, DHCP to static in here static and uh, you have to give the uh, IP address settings 
of the house verify and if you don't have any idea about this uh, please ask uh, from a person who knows about networking and these values are depending on your router and uh, okay uh, that's it let's save the file and reboot the raspberry pi okay um, let's see whether it, our settings is working or not okay uh, thank you for watching this video and have a nice day